Hi, this is Eric with Savon Nursery. Hey, this is the, the hot, dry part of the year. It's finally here. And a lot of people get yellowing leaves at this time of year. And it confuses a lot of people because it can be a lot of different things. So, for example, this is a lavender trumpet vine. It's green year-round, and right now it's molting because it's getting rid of these older, expensive leaves that were created in the nicer part of the year. So these leaves are, are big and expensive in terms of water use, so the plant is naturally getting rid of them. It's called molting, and it's completely natural. And you actually like to see that because you know that your plant's actively um, becoming more drought tolerant for the summer months. Now, same thing happens if you underwater. This is a hibiscus, and hibiscus love water, but they're drought tolerant to a degree, and they'll drop these bigger expensive leaves when they're not getting enough water. And that's what this, with this low humidity this time of year, that's what happens. The new leaves are gonna be smaller and much more efficient, not using as much water. If you wanna avoid this, make sure they don't dry out. And they'll hold on to these bigger leaves. But it's not gonna kill it when you have these older leaves turning golden yellow and falling off. It's normal. Now this is a yellow leaf, this is a chlorotic pomegranate. And this is caused by frequent shallow waterings and our water's high salts. And that causes the leaf to turn yellow, but the veins remain green. I don't know if you can see that, but the veins are still green and the leaf is yellow. And that means the salts have built up in this plant to the point where it cannot pull in the iron that it needs to keep a dark green leaf. Quick, easy fix, chelated iron added to the soil will help fix that. And then also, make sure you deep water to flush the salts out and you'll avoid this um, chlorotic growth. This is the new growth. Since we did treat this recently, you can see it's now free of the chlorosis. And that only takes about a week or two with the iron chelate. So that's a quick and easy way. But it does indicate your shallow watering. So back off on shallow watering. Do on an established pomegranate once or twice a week for two to three hours to flush those salts out.